Next week, Boeing's Starliner is set to be the latest spacecraft to head to space, coming weeks after similar launches from Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson. And it's important to note that these trips don't happen in a vacuum. So many scientists who aren't household names like Jeff Bezos or Richard Branson, they played a huge role in making those missions a success. And young people are taking notice. Employment for STEM jobs, that science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, is up 79% since 1990, according to Pew Research. But those jobs need qualified workers. And according to the White House, only 20% of American high school grads are prepared for college-level work in this field. So for more on this, I'd like to bring in STEM advocate Justin Schaefer. Justin, thanks for being here. Thank you so much, Terry. Excited to share some of my wisdom and knowledge that I've acquired in my journey. It's, it's great. So let's talk about it. Uh, why is it important? Well, how would you explain it to young people? Why is it important to get, to get them and, to get, and get their parents interested in getting them into, into STEM studies? Well, one of the first things I always tell young people is, hey, you like to make money? And most young people that, when they understand the concept of money, say, yes, I'd like to make money. And STEM definitely gives you the opportunity to do that. They're the highest paying jobs per capita in the U.S. And there's a ton of opportunity out there in STEM. And a lot of old jobs now are being swallowed up by things like automation and overseas talent. And so STEM jobs are the future. And that's where it's going. Uh, Justin, according to a 2020 study sponsored by Code.org, fewer than half of U.S. schools offer computer science curriculum. You say you didn't have access to any STEM classes until you were in college, and now you advocate for it in schools across the country. So what turned you into a STEM advocate, and what do you think needs to change in order to better prepare students to go into STEM fields? You know, I think one of the, thanks for that question, Dan. I think one of the biggest things that lit the spark for me to travel across the country and reach kids with my STEM work is seeing other people that look like me from my cultural background doing that. I went to Hampton University, which is a historically black college, and there I was able to see black and brown scientists, black and brown engineers, and I thought, wait a minute. There's no reason why I can't do this. And I think every young person needs to be exposed to role models that look like them in STEM. That's a great point. So let's talk about the impact of better preparing a generation of future STEM workers might have down the road. You know, uh, we're looking at these launches. We're looking at them as, you know, billionaires play things. But really, we're looking at the birth of a, of a new industry, you know, whether it's Richard Branson or Jeff Bezos launching it. I mean, that's like Henry Ford or whomever was launching the, the automobile industry. So what, what kind of future do you see STEM workers having down the line? Man, I think not only in commercial space flight, but in genomics and 3D printing and machine learning, all these, industry, all these industries are exploding right now. And there's so much opportunity for young people today to be able to get high paying jobs in those spaces. I think in commercial space flight, some of the things we can look forward to are more space stations on the moon, more satellites, maybe things like weddings in space and low Earth orbit, or even inventions that might occur as a result of us trying to figure out how to get people on Mars. And Justin, even outside of space research, how do you see having more people interested in and prepared to study STEM? How do you see that impacting kind of research in all different areas? You know, I think diversity of thought is such an important thing when we consider people that have access to the tools of research. You know, one of the biggest things I think about is the postpartum mortality rate for black women, right? Uh, for a long time, they were vastly understudied. And if there were more black women that were in science studying black women and why this happens, there might be more opportunity for us to help people survive in the future. The other thing I think about is the cure for cancer or the solution to world hunger, or maybe the solution to a lot of the environmental catastrophes that we're seeing all across the globe could exist in the mind of one of these kids that just hasn't been sparked yet. And, you know, it's my goal and with the educators that I've reached, uh, our goal collectively to spark that fire in these students for learning about STEM. Well, uh, maybe I'll hook you up with my, uh, with my kids who need, need a little bit of that inspiration. Justin Schaefer on STEM education. Thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.